आई होप यू हैव योटल ऑफ वॉटर हैश टैग स्टे हाइड्रेटेड हैश टैग चाइज लव Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Xiaomi has been launching some awesome products over here in India, and I'm not talking about their smartphones. They have a lot of smartphones, and apart from that, their product portfolio has expanded a lot in the last couple of years. Xiaomi has launched a lot of products across various categories, and that is excellent because Xiaomi manages to give us great value for their products. and that's exactly what we're looking for great value now recently they sent out a bunch of products for me to review and instead of making separate reviews for each of them i decided to combine them together and make this one video so that it's easier for you fun for me and i've also planned a surprise for you towards the end of the video so make sure you stick around till the end with that out of the way let's talk about the first product and that is the mi smart band 5 <laughs> a long way with their mi band series fun fact i have used and tested all the mi band so far right from mi band 1 to the mi band 5 i have used and tested each and every one of them and that's why i'm saying they've come a long way now let's talk about the major updates with mi band 5 as compared to mi band 4 the first one is that display so the display is now bigger and brighter it is a 1.1 inches oled panel and it gets very bright so you can easily use the mi band 5 outside in sunny conditions without any worries now this is a color display and it comes with a bunch of watch faces so you can download the mi fit app it is available on ios as well as android and from that app you can change the watch face and set it to whatever you want so the introduction of watch face was done last year with mi band 4 and it has been continued with the mi band 5 Anyway, apart from that, the second major update for me is in terms of how this Mi Band charges. So up until Mi Band 4, you would have to remove the device from the band and then charge it. That was a very inconvenient way of charging it. And now finally, with Mi Band 5, we have magnetic charging. So you just need to connect the magnetic charger towards the back of the device, and there you go, your charging will start. So this is a very convenient and requested feature, and I'm glad to see that Xiaomi has included that with the Mi Band 5. Apart from that there are no major changes with the Mi Band 5 there are some software changes here and there there's a new pi score which basically means that it will calculate a score out of 100 based on your age your weight your height your fitness level etc etc so based on your fitness activities it will calculate a score and if you have a higher score that means you're doing well now when it comes to battery life xiaomi claims that you will get 2 weeks of battery life that's not the case i'm getting somewhere around 10 to 11 days and that is kind of less as compared to previous mi bands so the battery life has definitely taken a hit with the bigger and brighter display and 24 hour heart rate monitoring and sleep monitoring and features like that now when it comes to the price mi band 5 comes for 2500 rupees and for this price point i would highly recommend it it's literally one of the best fitness trackers out there if not the best so that was mi band 5 now let's move our attention towards the next product that is the mi smart speaker This is the Mi Smart Speaker right over here. So this essentially is like a Google Home, but it is made by Xiaomi. Now let me just keep it back over here, and let's talk about it. Now you might be asking, what's so special about the Mi Smart Speaker? Well, it's the sound quality. For the price of rupees three thousand five hundred, the Mi Smart Speaker sounds excellent. There's a good amount of bass. The mids and highs are decent enough, and the overall sound stage is also pretty good. You will have a great time while listening to music. or talking to the assistant with this smart speaker 
Now this is a smart speaker at its core and it comes with all the bells and whistles that you would expect with a smart speaker. So you can talk to the assistant, you can ask it about the weather, you can ask it to control all your smart home appliances or you can talk to Pikachu. Yes, you can talk to Pikachu with the help of Google Assistant and a huge shout out to Suraj for finding this feature. So Suraj found out this feature in some Reddit post and a huge shout out to him. I cannot get enough of Pikachu. Pikachu is the cutest out there and just go ahead and try it. You can talk to Pikachu with Google Assistant. Okay Google, talk like Pikachu. Pikachu is here now. Pikachu can understand what you say. What's your name? It's saying, I'm Pikachu. Nice to meet you, Pikachu. Pika Pikachu? Pika Pikachu! <laughs> now on the top you get four buttons. Volume up, volume down, play or pause and a microphone button. So you can mute the microphone with this button and then turn it back on with this button itself. Now they are not physical buttons, they are like touch buttons. So essentially like a touchpad. Now this smart speaker also comes with a ring light around it. So while you're talking to the assistant, the lights will light up or if you're changing the volume up and down, then there will be an indicative light, which is a very convenient feature. Now there's one thing missing on the Mi smart speaker and that is an aux port. I would have loved to see an aux port so that I could connect the speaker to some other speaker system and then that would have been perfect. So there's no aux port. Maybe Xiaomi can include it in the next version. But overall for the price of Rs 3500, the Mi smart speaker is a no-brainer. It comes with Google Assistant, the sound quality is excellent, the price is great and it is a value for money product. Now this gets me to the third product on the list that is the Redmi Sonic Bass earphones. Love is These earphones are for a price of Rs 999 or 1000. Yes, for 1000 rupees, you are getting a pair of wireless earphones that is Bluetooth earphones. And I don't know how Xiaomi manages to do that. Like they always surprise us with the pricing. Now these are neckband type earphones which come with an in-ear design with replaceable ear tips. Now one weird thing over here is that Xiaomi does not provide a charging cable with it. It comes with a micro USB port for charging and there's no charging cable inside the box. The least that they could have done was given a USB Type-C port. But I guess at this price point that was difficult. So it is what it is. A micro USB port and no charging cable. But anyway, apart from that, it comes with Bluetooth 5.0 and you can connect these pair of your phones to two devices at the same time. So say for example, you are working on your laptop and listening to music and you get a call on your phone, you can receive the call with these pair of earphones itself and it will switch instantaneously. It's ridiculous how good this feature works on a pair of earphones which cost 1000 rupees. So the fact that you can connect it to two devices is very convenient and a job well done by Xiaomi. All right, now let's talk about the sound quality. How do these earphones sound? For the price, the Redmi Sonic Bass earphones do sound pretty good. Now these earphones are definitely bass heavy. So here's what I think went down during the sound quality meeting. Xiaomi employees were like, let's add bass. Did you forget about bass? Let's add more bass, more bass, more bass. Hey, I have an idea. What about we add some bass to these earphones? So these earphones are definitely bass heavy. And because of that, the other frequencies take a hit. So the mids and highs are not that clear and the overall sound stage is not that wild. Now I cannot complain much at this price because most of the people out there do look for bass and that's why they've made these earphones bass heavy. Now with that being said, I'm not saying that the sound quality is bad or anything. Nope, nothing like that. The sound quality is pretty good for the price point and most of the people out there are going to be happy with the sound quality. So those were the products. Now it's time for that surprise. I will be doing a giveaway of a bunch of these products. What am I giving away? One Mi Band 5, two Redmi Sonic Bass earphones and two Redmi Earbuds 2C. So Redmi Earbuds 2C are Xiaomi's new pair of TWS earphones and they come in for a price of Rs 1300. 
Net price is again insane. It's really good to see that you can enter the TWS world just for rupees 1300. So yeah, I will be giving away one Mi Band 5, two Redmi Sonic base earphones and two Redmi earbuds to see. Now before we go forward, I just want to clear that this video is not sponsored by Xiaomi. It's not sponsored by any means. They just sent out the products for me to review and they sent out a couple of extra ones so that I can organize a giveaway. That's it. It's not sponsored. What do you have to do to enter the giveaway? It's pretty simple. Number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, like this video. And number three, drop a comment down below. It can be anything. You can literally comment hi and you will be entered for the giveaway. Now I will be announcing the winners of the giveaway in 8 to 10 days on my Twitter and Instagram page. So make sure you are following me over there because you don't want to miss the update. If you are selected as a winner and you fail to reply in the next 48 hours, then another winner will be chosen. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay updated. So anyway, this was a very different kind of a video. I had a lot of fun while making it. You let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below. That's been it. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.